Good day. Uh, now I'm going to talk to you about a peak flow meter and why all our patients with asthma go home with one. This is a breathometer. And a breathometer, if I open up this little box, comes in a plastic container. And this is your peak flow meter. This is like a thermometer for asthma. It's, it's a monitoring tool. Please remember that it is not to... It's not meant to diagnose asthma, but to monitor it. Here's a little lever and here's the range. And what you need to do is tell your patient to hold it this way, not the fingers over the scale on the side. Take a deep breath in, place it in your mouth and seal your lips around it like this. And then blow hard and fast into it. One hard, fast blow. That's what you tell your patient. You note down the reading and put it down and maybe do it two more times in the same way. So take the lever back, deep breath in, again note it down. And the best of the three readings is your reading. Now this is a rough measure of lung function. And uh, for me, this is very important information. Uh, from my patient because some patients want to know that they're doing well objectively and this is the best way to tell them that their peak flow readings are close to their best what is their best reading when they have no symptoms their chest is clear and and they feel they are doing everything they want to do exercise sleeping well that's probably the time the patient has reached the best and our objective should be to keep our patient within 20% of their best readings. Uh, the peak flow meter is also very important when you stop your medication, for instance, on your own, or your doctor tells you to, and your peak flow readings remain close to your best, that's a good sign of asthma control. Uh, so it's not as accurate as a lung function test, but pretty close to it. Uh, and I would probably keep these readings as you monitor it regularly at least four or five times a week. Keep a check sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the evening, uh, and ideally twice a day before you use your inhaler. Should you change your peak flow meter? Well, it is recommended that in about six months to one year, you should change this device. Um, and I see so many patients with diabetes using glucometers and even without diabetes checking their blood sugars. So I don't see why a simple, inexpensive instrument like this is not used by every asthma patient to monitor their asthma and keep their doctor informed and avoid frequent visits to the clinic. Thank you.